All right, we're taking off. We out here with the Pelicans and the Pelicans. Which one are you? Oh, look at you that. look like a bunch of Pelicans, look I would say. Uh huh. They ain't brushed the teeth yet. We're just getting we're getting moving too. It's about 9 a.m. We're a little behind the tours out here, but we're gonna find some good stuff today. Here we are. It's a beautiful day on Kais Island. Mm-hmm. It was a super low tide. The tide was just starting to come up. Already got a calico scallop right off the bat. That's one of my favorite things. I'm always picking up those beautiful little scallops. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite part of Kais Island. We are at the south end of the island where you get the sandbar and the mangroves. Uh-huh. A little best of both worlds right there. That's a real nice banded tulip. I've been having a real hard time passing up these little gorgos. Mm-hmm. They make beautiful pendants. Mm-hmm. Super beautiful pendants. You can see I'm rocking uh, some new hardware here from my reflection. I got a, a little parrot on my shoulder that records everything. <laughs> ah, very nice. Nice lightning whelk. And I was kidding, it's not a parrot, it's uh, actually a ferret. No, it's a GoPro, I'm kidding. I got a GoPro on my shoulder and I adjust it later so that you could see my beard because I wanted everybody to notice how hard I chomp my gum He's when I'm chomper. shelling. I'm a chomper. Chomp, 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 chomp. It keeps me moving though. That's my theory, like as long as my jaws are moving then my feet are moving and then I'm moving faster. Mm, like these little chompers. Uh-huh. Look at this little fella here. Or, oh, I think it's a girl. Mm -hmm. It's a horseshoe crab. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to offer some real-life commentary here. I believe this is a All right, so female. Or hold on. Uh-huh. Yes, this is a female because you could see it's got the pinchers in the front. The males have more like a little boxing glove up front. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's, missing some, yeah. gonna, She's missing some of her spines. She's missing some of her spines. I'm going to leave her. All right, we're looking over here through the branches. I do not recommend that you go barefoot on kais because it is a little treacherous. There's mangrove roots. Uh, they could impale you, and that's not good. So don't get impaled. Don't, don't do like me. I'm not going to get impaled, though. I'm a professional. Beautiful. All this. Look at it. Just trapping seashells all day. All day long. Uh-huh. You can see uh, South Markle Island. They're off to your north. Uh-huh. Beautiful day out. It is a gorgeous Look day. Look at that water. Oh my gosh. Look at it, the water, babe. It was very, uh, it was a little choppy. 
but a little chappy there. It was nice. I flew the drone out later on. I couldn't see a whole bunch of nothing. That's a something to see right there, though. It's a nice little lettered olive. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We got a lot in the whale right here. Very nice. Got to get them pears, make them earrings. Uh-huh. Now, that's a left-handed shell, right? Ah, uh, that is a left-handed shell. Mm-hmm. Lightning whelks are, uh... Never all... to the right, and if mm -hmm. so, you got yourself a real prize. Uh-huh. Never found one of those. No. Never found a right-handed lightning whelk, but you can find a left-handed Genonia, right? Ah, <laughs> you sure can. I learned that at the Bailey's Matthews yeah. Shell Museum. Mm-hmm. Go check it out if you've never been there. Uh, you can find gold-banded cones on this island. I'm still looking for that gold banded mm -hmm. cone. I have yet to find a gold banded cone, but now I've got a picture of one, so I've got it in my head. I'm going to manifest it soon. And if you do, don't sell it for $200. You'll, you'll be getting ripped off. Yeah. I felt like that scallop was ripping me off there, so I threw it back. All right, we're going to keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Where's my Genonia at today? Oh, snap. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Gal, just one of my favorites, you know. I love shelling in the mangrove uh -huh. stumps. So is it mangrove or mangrove? Uh, mangrove. Mangrove. Okay, so it's like a man in a grove. Mm -hmm. Have I said been saying mangrove? No, I say, I say mangrove. Mangrove. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm adding a second G in there. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'm using a strategy that I haven't seen a lot of people use, but literally um, it works for me. This is how I found my two Genonias on Dickman's. Uh, what I do, I whistle, and I call the Genonia to me as if it were a young puppy. Mm -hmm. What is this then? Some big, oh, yep, it's a big mangrove root. You gotta watch out out here. The mangrove roots are a little treacherous at times. Where you at, Genonia? Alright. Alright. What you got for me, anything? But that was my J. <laughs> looking for some J's, looking for some J's. <laughs> really looking for some Rose Murexes, too. I've gotten a taste of them Rose Murexes lately um, on South Beach, mm -hmm. and now I've just, I've got a, a, a really, I fancy them. I never found very many out here uh, in the water. I usually find them in the mini piles. Mm-hmm. Where all the other goodies are that I'm not so great at looking for. Right there, Tyler. Like a, a little mini pile like that. Where you get the bubbles yep, and, that's and all exactly the babies. exactly what I just said. I said this looks like Rose Mil <laughs> Murex territory right there. You read my mind. Yeah, look how Shelly uh, it got just within those few steps. So, oh. Shelly. This is a good place to uh, anchor the boat on a super calm day, although it is getting a little bit more shallow just right out there, but this is a good destination to pull up on a, mm. a nice calm day. Yeah, not too calm today, though. No, nah, well, it was still ripping. It, it was. It was ripping, yeah. There's ripping new ones out there, to be honest. It was a bit chilly. We're glad we brought towels for the boat to uh, cover up with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we're, were bundled up on that boat. You want to come prepared when you come out here. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to have everything you need because you don't want to be rushed. Yeah, you think, you know, you're going to an island. You're not too, too far away from the equator. You're going to be super warm. I've made that mistake uh, several times before I became a full-time resident here. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm-hmm. Nice banded tulip. Mm-hmm. I got some... Uh, 
sea feathers there in my purse. Oh, feathers. Yeah, kind of like a sea whip, but mm. it's sea feathers. And they're all wet and beautiful, and they stink royally still to this day. I just smelt them outside. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you do about that stench? Oh, uh, you just hose it off with fresh water really well, and then leave it out to dry, not in direct sunlight or the little coral organism um, that either makes it white or purple, um, just like a sea whip will dry off and like pop off. So just put it in the shade and let it Do dry out. You could uh, spray some alcohol on there, but I just usually let the fresh air mm. take care of it for you. So that thing's alive, huh? Uh, uh, it organism. was, yeah, before it was ripped off from the ocean floor. Very cool. So stanky. Mm. Look at this show, pal. Mm-hmm. Nice gotty naughty. Ba bing, ba boom. Now all of these uh, mangroves that you're looking at, they're all dead. Some of them are coming back to life, but that was from uh, Hurricane Irma. It really did a number out here. But mm. some of them uh, in the distance back there have are definitely coming back. So that's good. From a distance, the mangroves <laughs> come into life. <clears throat> they're coming back. So okay, when these were all alive. Would this be, like, where I'm walking right now, that would be the only accessible beach unless you wanted to, like, climb through the mangroves up there? It, this wasn't even a beach. It was all mangroves, mangroves all the way out. So this is just washed away mangrove uh, roots where you mm. see the sand and the sand shifting up wow. higher and higher. And even just a few years ago, it looked so much different. Wow. So um, some of these islands that were passing out in the 10,000 Islands... That you look over and it's just completely covered in mangroves. Mm -hmm. um, do you think there's a bunch of shells trapped right up next to them, too? Oh, man, there's shells all the way back in there. I oh. bet you find some Indian artifacts and all that from the Clusos. Wow. I bet. That'd I really don't want to find out. I don't think. No? No. All right, now check this out. This is super cool. All look right? at that root. Yeah. Beautiful. When I, when I stumbled upon this, I'm like, I'm definitely going to find a troll in here or something. There's going to be some kind of <laughs> mythical being living in that tree, and there was not. I was disappointed. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Crab traps all over the island. They're derelict mm -hmm. crab traps that wash up. Derelicts. In like 30 mile an hour winds. So we got some of those coming up here in the next few days. Yeah, yeah. And um, if you're <clears> listening <throat> to this in the future, um, <laughs> today is January 13th, 2022. Mm -hmm. So. We got a little banded tulip right there. And a got it naughty. Thursday night is a tulip night. Mm. And those are two predators, right? The tulips specifically. Mm -hmm. Be eating everything out there. Eating everything. A little spanned jewel box. And I definitely feel that the true tulip is less preyed upon than the banded tulip. Mm, really? Yeah. And it's smaller a lot of times. The, the true, true tulip. tulip. Yeah. Right? So they get uh, much larger. They, they do get much larger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We just don't find them <laughs> yeah, as much. Yeah, because they're not preyed upon. That's my yeah. theory. I don't know that for a fact, but... Did you see that chocolate mm, town? Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Embedded shells. Oh. Look at that little banded tulip. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Great size. Mm-hmm. That's buoy size right there. That's perfect to wear. Yeah. Better days. And it's a little beat up. You've seen better days, Lacey. Selective shellas. That's how you do it. Keeping mm -hmm. it ethical. This is definitely an ethical place to shell out here in the 10,000 Islands. Plenty of uh, gastropods left behind for crabs and uh, other various marine life that uh, we'll call that its home. Yep, you won't have to be feel bad about taking him. Uh-uh. No? Look look at my bag. It's just, it's full of nothing, hardly, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. I don't pick yeah. up that much. <laughs> I got the tiniest little bag. Yeah. A little Florida fighting conch. Uh-oh, another chocolate town? We going mm -hmm. back to chocolate town? Mm -hmm. Oh, snap, get out the nest quick. Good job, baby. Uh-huh, look at that. Very chocolatey. Mmm. Chocolate. With a little bit of caramel swirl oh, to it. 
Yeah. Oh, a tad bit of vanilla. All right, we got a too. big old occupied lightning whelk right here. It's a big one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, again. so here we are. We're on our way to the first shoal near Caxambas Marina. Mm hmm. Great little spot. Mm hmm. Usually it's just knee deep in shells all the way. Um, right along the, the edge, the water line there. And it was, it was a low tide today, so you gotta be careful coming through here. Yep, right now it is high tide and you can still uh, clearly see where it gets super, super, super low tide. Almost impassable um, in most areas on a negative low tide. Yeah. Yeah, Megs isn't swerving, she's just avoiding um, the sandbars and just the, the shallow areas. This is a good place for fishing. Um, and just to the left side here is a nice channel to get through, typically. <laughs> Some days not. So you're gonna see it right here. We got uh, some footage there you could probably see you could pass through is that dickman's island that over is there to dickman's the right Dickman's island to your right yes yeah. yep that all used to be connected to kais island back in 2015 hurricane uh i think it was uh, let's see it was hurricane wilma passed through there and they actually uh local voters call that wilma's pass okay so now kais is kais island and this is dickman's point Mm. So now you got two islands instead of one. Mm -hmm. This is two for one. Yep. A guy named Joe Dickman used to live there, and they called him the Hermit of Kais. That's a good, uh, is it good little he, story to look at. Because at. he collected crabs? He collected everything, and they yeah. said his house just smelt like death. You oh. know, back then he was collecting live. He was eating what he could. He was an avid fisherman, walked around barefoot like you, and had callus that were so thick that didn't bother him for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> Good read, y'all. Joe uh, Dickman. Yeah, and where do you find that? Uh, just on Google. Google it. Google yeah. Joe Dickman. Mm -hmm. He collected crabs. <laughs> I'm kidding. He didn't collect crabs. <laughs> they called him a hermit because he yeah, didn't leave the island. Of Pace Island. It's Good not. A, it's not a crab joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see another good one. Scallop, scallop, Sammy Scallopini strikes again. Scallop, scallop, some more scallops. Come on down to Sammy's. I got the best scallops you ever laid your eyes on. These scallops are so good, you're going to be taking out a second mortgage on your home to pay for these delicious scallops. That's how good these scallops are. Look at this. Look at this whole relic. It's beat up. Save you for the crabs. Oh. Very cool. That is a live lightning whelk right there. You can see it's a uh, trapdoor. It's a perculum right there. Keeping it nice and safe from marauders. People trying to steal your shell, trying to eat you. Go be free, little buddy. Go be free. What we got here? What we got here? You've seen better days. I'll throw you back. Hope you make a nice home for the crabs. Alright, what else we got here? What else we got up in here? Oh, Sammy Scalapini. Ah, oh, you've seen better days. You broke. You don't meet the cut. Sammy Scalapini only keeps the best scallops. Oh my gosh, it gets very deep right here. Very deep. Oh my, my gosh. Sammy's losing his pudding. Jello pudding.
Oh, that time of day has come when you gotta head on back into the marina. Sun's going down early on Marco Island this time of the year. We're headed back to Rose Marina. We've got a few more videos in the works right now. So if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that button. Hit the like button so YouTube will curate more content like this in your direction. And we'll see you next time, Ohana. Love you. Shalom.